So last but not least, let's say there's a situation where the, the, the community supervision department and the state prosecutor are fed up. There's just been too many attempts to get that particular defendant to straighten out too many sanctions and the sanctions aren't going anywhere. So the, really the only thing left to do is a motion to adjudicate guilt uh, or a motion to revoke community supervision. And that is an unfortunate situation. I'll tell you the reason why the allocution of guilt with, you know, the, the guilty plea that the defendant slash probationer makes early on this video series, we talked about that, is to save the state of Texas from having to prove the guilt of the defendant for the underlying offense. And really that just opens the door to a really short hearing on the motion to revoke or motion to adjudicate guilt. And the situation with a motion to revoke, motion to adjudicate, is it is a civil burden of proof, even though it is in a criminal context, the burden of proof is not beyond a reasonable doubt. It is a civil burden of proof of preponderance of the evidence. And the state merely needs to put on evidence of all of the failures of the criminal defendant of the probationer to comply with the terms and conditions of probation. So, you know, drank four boiler makers, got behind the wheel, crashed the car. That's going to be an easy situation. And then you're open up the door to whatever the range of punishment was on that underlying charge. So, or potentially opening up the door to that. And it's a trial before the judge only. And there's really not a whole lot your criminal defense attorney can do except put on some evidence of mitigation and essentially strike a negotiation either with the state of Texas on how that's how that motion to adjudicate guilt is going to be dealt with or put on some mitigation evidence to the court about why the sentence that the court has the right to impose for failing to complete probation should should be under the maximum amount. So it, this is a tough spot to be in. I hope none of you are ever there. But from time to time, this comes up in friends, colleagues, loved ones' lives. You may have a, a cousin, a neighbor, a neighbor's kid who's going through something like this. I hope that's never the case. But if it is, I hope that this video series has been somewhat insightful and informative on this process. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you on the next video series, probably here in the studio and soon from the road. Thanks again. God bless America.